Hello and welcome to this tutorial series for Motion Live 2D, which is the motion capturing plugin for Cartoon Animator 4. So in this tutorial, this one is called Head Driven Body Movements. I'll teach you how to use your webcam um, to do your own motion capture and based on the head movements that I'm creating, I'm going to drive part of my body for that. All right, let's start. So the first thing is we need to connect our character. And this screen here, I have Puff, our blue dragon. So um, once I open the Motion Live 2D panel, this can be done with the plugin here. Um, I have my gear list and I have my character list. So inside, I installed already um, the profile for Face 3D and also the profile for Live Face. So now, because I'm using a webcam, this is an RGB video camera, then I'm going to be using Face 3D. Again, Live Face is only for iPhone 10. All right, so let's connect it. Uh, first things first, I need to click on my connected here. You'll see that up there on the panel it says connected. Face 3D is connected for the face. I'll also do the same for Face 3D body. All right. Right there, we're good. Now we go down to the character list. I need my character here, but I haven't selected Puff. So let me click on him here. And we've got them right there. Puff the Blue Dragon. <laughs> so now I have to tell Motion Live 2D what profile am I using to control what body part. So let's go to face here. I want the face to be controlled by face 3D, which is this one uh, on top here. And, the, and likewise, for the body, I will choose face 3D for the body. All right, so now that we have my character is selected and everything is connected, we go to zero pose. Now, if you remember from the previous tutorial, uh, zero pose is basically calibrating yourself, where you're gonna look straight at the camera and have your body in a straight posture, and you're going to calibrate with a zero pose. Now, we're gonna do this for both the face and for the body, so we'll do that twice. And the way we do it is that, let's say for the face, I'll click here, uh, you'll see that we have set zero pose, and for the body, we also have it right there. So to activate and be able to calibrate with zero pose, what we need to do is first go into the preview mode. So I'll click on preview, spacebar, look straight at my camera, not move, and click it once. Okay, I'm calibrated. And I'll do the same for the body. Straight posture, calibrate. Great. And now, aha, that's pretty cool. I can do several movements. I can do rotate. I can do up and down, and I can do scale in. Oh, I love that. That's a Z axis there. All right, so we've got them ready. Uh, so what else can we do? You'll notice that we have uh, the adjust initial pose. So Puff has his arms down. This particular character has his arms like that. But if you want to adjust the character, the character arms because they're getting in your way, what you could do is adjust to rotate. So go here where it says adjust initial pose and I can rotate his arms out or rotate him in. Okay, so I want to leave him about right around there. And just like I'm doing it for the arms, I can also do it for the forearms. So like that, in or out. So I think he would look proper just like that. All right, so what else do we have? We also have uh, the blend value for the head. Remember I mentioned that we have head roll, head turn up, and head scale. So I can adjust the strength value for that. That's, this is what we call pose blend value. So for the head roll, if I want to increase that, I can, or I can decrease it. All right, so you get the idea. Now I can, I can drop in a value too, or I can just double click and that'll reset the whole thing. All right, uh, what else? Okay, head turn up, let's try that. Up, down, up down, up, down, <laughs> he's doing exercise, all right, I can lower it, up, down, up, down, all right, so you get the idea, you can adjust that to where it works for your specific character, and obviously head scale too, so I can do zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom in, or I can scale that down, zoom in, zoom out, okay, not a lot, so you can just play with it until you get it just right for your character. Okay, 
So what else do we have? You'll notice that down here we have idle motion settings, and this part is something that I really like. Because in the past, with, with uh, Crazy Talk, we had characters that were a bit static, right? You just static there, and you would have to manually drag in an idle motion to make him, um, you know, make him more natural flowing. So now with Cartoon Animator 4, this is embedded inside Motion Live. And all we have to do is set an idle motion when mocapping. I can click on breath here, and I can choose um, a template. Depending on the character type that I have, I can choose human, cat, dog, horse, spine, or winged, winged creature one or two. So in this example, Puff is a humanoid. He's, yes, he's a dragon, he's an animal, but he's a humanoid character because he's, he's bipedal and he's got two, two arms, right? So the best uh, template for him is human. And you'll see he looks pretty cool when he's puffing up and everything. Um, we can also increase the speed on this or lower the speed. So enough, of, enough, let's see what happens. I'll click on preview, space bar. And you'll see him breathing. I'm, I'm trying to stay still. You can see his arms going up and down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I love this. Okay. Um, let me stop this a bit. I can also increase the speed. Let me go up all the way so you could see this more. Preview. Yeah, he's hyperventilating right now. <sighs> he just came from jogging. All right, I like that. Or he just woke up. Okay, speed drop. And you barely see it. Yeah, I'm trying to stay still. You can you can you can see me again. That's kind of natural, maybe down a bit. All right, we also have another option. This one is smooth body down here. So uh, sometimes you might experience that when you're creating your motion capture with your camera, um, there's a bit of jitter or you, you feel that maybe there's some popping in the motion, in the motion that you're, you're capturing or something. So you do have the option to blend things. And this is done with the smooth body in there. So my, sometimes you might notice a difference. Sometimes you might not. So let me just click on smooth body. Go to the head, up and down, in and out. All right, so that's just an option in case you want to make your motions look a bit more gentle and smooth. All right, great. So that's it for this tutorial. And uh, stick around because we're going to have more for Motion Live 2D. Thank you.